we're still at the Phoenix. But at least we've got our Continental Pro license now. And we did spend £400,000 on a player during the transfer window. Hey guys, and welcome back to the 11th episode of the EFM 22 Wayne Train series with me, Raxel with them, where today we have a lot to go over and a lot of really exciting stuff to go over, including the transfers that we have signed, the drama that has gone on with me trying to get a new job, the New Zealand friendly games that we've actually done a pretty good job in, and of course, an update on Ben Wayne. If you guys are excited for that, please make sure that you smash the like button as well as subscribing to the Rex of the YouTube channel so you don't miss the content coming your way with this save and other stuff, but it's mainly just the save right now. Can we please smash 15 likes? I'm going high this time. I reckon the start of the season with this new transfer window and this signing, it deserves some serious likeage. And I'm gonna have to go over so much stuff oh and by the way we're also gonna play against the moment victory today but i'm going over so much stuff and we are starting with the transfers i will go back to the last season to check if there's anything that we haven't already talked about I i'm pretty sure there are things that we haven't already talked about roll roland roland has come in and he is a very good young right back player able to play in center back as well great rotation option and actually isn't counted as one of our registered players and for only 450 pounds per week very good signing absolutely stoked with that one uh i don't know who you are i really don't know who you are all right um cool so he's he's in the club too Kalen Elliott unfortunately has left the club and that's because I bought in that other right back who had better potential than him and some better stats than him so he's left the club a bit sad to see him go but didn't really need him after bringing in a younger and cheaper player uh did I release anyone anyone released uh, uh yes yes player released the, the guy that retired who we signed in the first season I guess now we're starting on the next players that were released in the real season, that's Clayton Lewis, still didn't want to renegotiate. I did want to bring him back, but unfortunately didn't want to re-sign. So, I had to take matters into my own hands and start signing up some players. First of all, of course, going over signings, Dario Vidicic left on a free, got his wages off the bill. Happy about that. Grieve, Alex Grieve has managed to join the club. Very excited about this signing. I think he's a great right wing, left wing, striker option. I just think he fits the bill perfectly as a New Zealander. And of course, coming in on a free. Ryan Teague, loan deal for a very good central midfield option. Only £1.1,000 per week. I think it's a really great deal. I love to have him in the club as an option. And before I go over the, the big signing, we've also brought in Carl Armiento, who I'm already wanting to get rid of, but he was a very good, well, yeah, he's a very good rotation option for us just for injuries and stuff. But I now want to get rid of him, and I'll explain why in a second. But Ollie White, he is the big signing. And he's not like setting the world on fire, I will admit. But I really wanted to make the board happy with signing New Zealand players and players under the age of 23, but apparently are still devastated about it. But I literally spent £400,000 on a really good player from the Finland team. Uh, and I, I think it's probably worth it. He's coming in for a big wage, coming in with a decent current ability and potential. But we have locked him down for a while, and I think he's a really good option for us. Um, I mean, £400,000 is a lot, but I had a lot of money, and we didn't really need to improve the team that much. I now regret signing him, because he is injured for uh, 10 to 3 weeks, and he was actually out for about 2 or 3 months at the start of that injury. But hopefully he's not going to get injured again, and yeah, for, for £400,000 was a lot for him, but... The reason why I'm gutted that we now no longer have any money, that we have £420,000 in the bank account, is because in our youth setup, we've brought in this man, who is mentally good. Like, insanely good. He's starting for us, absolutely. But we, we don't even have the money to negotiate a contract with him. We just don't have the money. So right now, any team could come and pick him up. And it, it kills me every time I think about it. He's already scored for the New Zealand national team as well. He got a call up from me, you know, because I'm the New Zealand boss. But gosh, I'll, I'll, I need to lock this guy down. So we are trying to get rid of 
any player we can. Like Sermon is on the chopping block. Uh, Rulins, I even tried to loan out. Uh, yeah, yeah, like anyone that we possibly can so that we can get this man locked down for a contract. I've tried negotiating with him twice and both times he's just wanted too much and we couldn't afford it. But hopefully we get him across the line. And if we don't, we'll probably be moving on to another club. Uh, ben Wayne, that's who we would need to talk about really. He has signed a new contract with the Wellington Phoenix and that was because of all the interest I was getting for him. I think we ended up getting bids from Stoke City as well as a, the Bundesliga 2 side um, and one other championship side I'm pretty sure so I needed to lock him down and I did and that's because I don't see us leaving the Phoenix right now I think the only way at the time we're really going to be leaving them is during the, the, the January transfer window um, and even if we do get one of these jobs right now I will probably just you know chill out for a bit and sign him during the January transfer window. Uh, there, there was some serious stuff going on in the potential job space. I'll go over that, but I just remembered San Sutton also got some massive bids. Celtic came in for him about five different times, and I had to convince the board not to accept an offer because he's just such a key player for us. So happy that they're both still at the club, and happy yeah, the team is still looking so strong absolutely stoked with it this will be the team that we're using for the first game but i'll go over that in a second but first let's go over what happened in my managerial journey we got offered a job swindon town offered us a job the sky be at league two side all the way down in 19th place offered us the job and the only reason i didn't take it was because the reputation of this team is two stars Whereas the reputation of the Phoenix is two and a half stars. So immediately it feels like a step down. It would have been good to segue into European football so we could rise up through the ranks. But then their budget was only like £200,000. And seeing as Ben Wayne was getting offers for about £500,000 to a million, I didn't think we would be able to pick him up. So I decided against it. For the sole reason that if the team's not good enough to get Ben Wayne in, then it's probably not good enough to leave the Phoenix for. They're not the only team that were interested in us. Sutton, not Sam Sutton. Sutton, the League One football club, also gave us an interview. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get the job from the interview, but it's, it's worth mentioning. Worth mentioning. I'm really hoping now that we've got. Uh, our pro license so we're going to get some more offers but it does make me feel really good that i know that at least a league one side will take us if we get a bit lucky i don't even apply for league two jobs anymore because i, I they, they won't have the budget they just won't have the budget to be able to buy ben wayne and so that defeats the whole purpose of the save doesn't it so it, it, yeah another thing that would have been great for our uh reputation would have been to be able to win the ffa cup we did not we lost to Western Sydney Wanderers, and I think it was stupid, because the FFA Cup is always occurring during a time where we have everyone away on international duty. We had three substitutes, and this team starting, like, it's still a good team, but everyone was knackered, everyone was exhausted, and going into that last couple of seconds, we just slipped and then lost in a penalty shootout. I would have loved to have won that for the reputation, but it didn't go the way that we wanted it to. And Western Sydney Wanderers actually did end up winning it in the end as well. So we lost to the champions, and it was probably the tightest affair they had for the rest of the competition. You know, I'm going to take a look. Western Sydney Wanderers, 4-2 win. And then, okay, the final hasn't taken place yet. I thought it had. I was certain it had. Okay, it hasn't taken place. But I imagine they're going to win it. They're going to win it. They, they are. If they win it, I'll feel better about myself. If they don't win it, I'll be slightly disappointed. And the last update... Since last time we saw each other, of course, the New Zealand team, national pool, no, what, national pool, national schedule. Um, okay, these two don't look great, but these two are promising because we ended up winning against Fiji 1-0 and a 4-1 loss to Germany is pretty respectable, I, I, I will say. Okay, that, that seems bad, doesn't it? Like, But it, it's not bad results, really not bad results. And the Peru game, we certainly held our own, Ben Wayne with another goal. Uh, they kind of won against the run of play, but kind of also deserved it. Mexico, we held our own as well. Again, we actually 
were really in the game in terms of XG. So great to see. And this is where it started to really pick up. A Bolivia 3-4 win where we were much the better side. They just kept getting chances and scoring them, unfortunately. But did a great job there. This was the mental one. A one-all draw against an Argentina side. And you're thinking, oh, they just rotated. Mate, they started Messi. They started Messi. As well as insane players. And Chris Wood pops up. In the 92nd minute to score and equalise and make it a one-all draw. What a result that was. A Mali draw as well wasn't too bad. Iraq win 2-0 was pretty good. 4-0 win against Uzbekistan. And a 3-1 loss against Denmark. That's pretty respectable. They are a very good side. Another goal for Ben Wayne, by the way. So he's now scored four goals from 15 international caps. Not too bad. So overall, things are looking all right. Uh, jobs are still rejecting me left, right and centre. So I'm, I'm not... I'm clearly not like the favourite for any of these jobs, but I just keep applying and you never know what will happen. I feel like these these uh, League One jobs should really be pretty gettable for me, but then they're, they're, they're not. They're just not for some reason. It's, it's really frustrating me because I feel like we should be in contention for them, but we're not apparently. But as I said before, Sutton interview was a thing that we ended up getting. So. It makes me think that we should be able to get one of these jobs at some point. Actually, Bolton job, I would like to declare interest because I feel like even though they're a League One side, they do have some serious um, firepower and spending ability. And also, I just remembered another thing. The board, they, they had a meeting with me for declaring interest in another team. I had to talk them down from sacking me. It was very stressful. Ended up making sure they didn't sack me though. And there's the final update. And now... We can move forward with our lives. This is the team that we're going with for the first game of the season. Actually, Ben Old has come into the team but is looking tired. So we might start... Oh, no, I'll start Bakuna because he's actually our player and get Teague on the bench. Aside from that, it's a very strong team. Uh, we do have some injuries to White still. Caceres is out for another three to five months. Oh, yeah, he like broke his leg or something. He's Yeah, he's damaged his spine. Yeah, so that... That's not good. Uh, Grieve is out, but only for a little bit, five to eight days. So generally speaking, this will be one of our main teams for some time. David Ball's going down in current ability, but I back him like nothing else. So good last season. Hopefully he's just as good. Uh, I might get Laws in for Needham Miner, because he's apparently terrible now. And I, I'm kind of backing Laws at the moment. When he plays, he does well. So let's give him a crack. Aside from that, it's Paulson, Grant, Kelly, with a little bit of a knock, but should be all right. Laws, Sutton, Stevens, Bakuna, Irvine, Ball, Elisara. I'm definitely not saying that right. Elisara? Elisara? I might just call him Ali because it's just easier. Ali and Wayne. And let's jump into it. Let's go, boys and girls. If we can win this first game, it's always settling the nerves. And it's always making us feel better about what's going to happen for the rest of the season. Only covering the first game, by the way, because the transfer window is open, so it's not like... Uh, sorry, is closed, so it's not like anything exciting is going to happen. And I have decided we're either going to come back when I get a new job, so in January probably, and I don't know if that will happen, or I'm literally just going to simulate to the finals. Like, all throughout the season is going to be simulated, and we'll come back and play the finals together. And then, hopefully, we will finally get a new job. That is... The plan, because we've had a lot of seasons at the Phoenix now. I don't think we want to be messing around with them too much. So no matter what, there's only going to be two episodes with the Phoenix this season. So that will be either, well, this one guaranteed already, like I'm recording it right now. I'm not deleting this. Uh, and either our final episode with the, with the Phoenix by signing a new contract with a new team or the end of the season one where we're going for the title. As long as we do make it there, Ben Wayne scoring a goal in the first game of the season it's things you love to see. He is considered to be a really good player now. Actually getting up there for top goal scorer odds. I mean, after winning it two years in a row, you'd expect him to be the top spot. He's, he's not. Um, he's never predicted to win it. In fact, the last two seasons, he's not even been in the you know odds race. But now he was like third place. So it's good to see. And it's good to see us scoring so early on. Let's go league table because league table is what we want to see. And we are currently sitting pretty right on top. 25 minutes gone. We haven't been that dominant, but that one chance has been enough for us. Kelly picks it up here. 
looking for a ball into the mixer. He's got that crossing ability from his experience as a right back. Bakuna's in, and Bakuna scores with Ali getting an assist on his debut. We need to lock that man down, because he is so good. Like, he's, he's sort of championship teams are going to come in for him sort of quality if we don't lock him down, especially if he's playing and getting assists and actually doing all right. So I'm slightly frightened about that, but hey, we could bring him along with us if we get to a new club. It's, a, it's an interesting prospect. Sutton, over the ball, and ball, see, still has it in him, and it's clear that we're still a very good A-League side, which makes me feel very good, because it has been an interesting window. We're because we've locked players down for so long on contracts, unless we sold players, which is difficult in this league, um, we didn't really need to switch it up too much. And I didn't feel like we really needed to switch it up at all because we won the league so comfortably last year. Well, not so comfortably, but, you know, pretty convincingly last year. Uh, so I didn't really need to bring in too many new faces. Um, however, it has ended up happening with a, a couple of signings. Ben Wayne scoring again there, 4-0 on the night. What a performance this is by us so far. Uh, and with all of our international slots also taken up by um, Kelly, Niedermeyer, uh, Stevens, Bakuna, and Bull, I didn't even have a wiggle room to bring in some star random midfielder from an obscure country or a Premier League midfielder who's about to retire. So we didn't even get the chance to do that. It's a, it was a very interesting summer. But I, th I feel like I'm still very happy with the team that we have. We've done enough to strengthen it a little bit and keep a hold of the assets that we really wanted to keep a hold of. And clearly in this first game, it's doing us a world of good. Ali puts it into Wayne. Wayne back to Bakuna. Irvine. And Wayne is running through. But we, we look for Ali. Could have gotten him, the, him his chance to get his first Ali goal. But doesn't get through to him. And now it's been knocked down to the the opposition, the Melbourne Victory, who are actually a good side, to be fair, so I shouldn't be writing them off as Marco Rojas scores to make it 4-1. It's always a New Zealander. I am going to have to bring some players off here, though, because they are looking tired. So Ben Old's going to come on, who I think is going to get a lot more game time this season after a really good season last year, just rotating, coming off the bench, doing a really good job whenever he got the chance. Uh, we're going to also bring Niedermeyer on and move Laws out to left back because Sutton's tired. And I'm keeping an eye on Wayne as well. Love to get a first day of the season hat trick. We are, we are winning this so against the run of play, by the way. Um, I'd love to get a first game hat trick for him. And it could come here. No, off the woodwork. I, I don't even think it was Wayne that he did it. But uh, I, I definitely don't want to get him injured either. So with 10 minutes to go, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Wayne coming off, Randall coming on. Now, I feel confident that this team is going to get us a win. Even though, as I said, we are actually winning this against the run of play. It was before a lower XG for us than them. And even then, we shouldn't have four based off that XG. We should have one. It, it's it's an interesting game, this one. But I, I'd like to think that it's the quality of our players that is coming through and just getting us a higher XG, a lower XG, but still scoring goals because we're just that good. That's what I'm believing in my heart. Oh, goodness sake, I didn't want them to score again. 4-1 looks dominant. 4-2 is like... They were kind of in it. And Paulson not actually playing the best in his first game of the season. He did start the last first game of the season, but this one, he's actually the nailed-on starter. Could be up for a sale rotation. Could we not concede again? Like, please, they're scoring again. No, they're offside, thank goodness. I really don't want to concede again, because 4-3 is then, like, this was a tight affair. And this was not a tight affair. We were 4-0 up at one point. David Ball is injured. Oh no, I can't, I can't even make a substitution, but we've only got a couple of seconds to go anyway. But I really hope that's not for a while. That is the issue with having older players. This better be the final whistle that we're seeing. Because if they score after this much additional time and an injury to a player, I, I am going to be fuming. It is a chance for us. It is collected. Can we see the full-time whistle, mate? Like, it's still looking embarrassing for them. And I, I would like to keep it that way. Unless we score here. They've, they've just brought him down. That That is that's sinister. There was, there was some malicia in that. Sam Sutton to take the free kick. No, it'll be Stevens to take the free kick. Because Sam Sutton's not on. Kills it. And come on. Full time. You said three minutes. It's now been six and a half. You've got to call it. You've got to call it. I'm just... 
I'm just waiting here for you to call it. It's been six and 45 minutes. Come on. It's, it's full time. It's full time, ref. When the injury happened, it was like two minutes and 30 seconds. You can't tell me you need to add on this much time. Good work, boys. Great start to the season. I think it's Bakuna potentially getting the... the oh, no. Oh, no. He's really out. Four to five months. <sighs> well, we're picking up injuries left, right, and centre. Stoke with Bakuna's performance, but... Oh, that's not good at all. Well, in that case, Ben Old is certainly going to be getting a real stint in the first team. Play him as the supporting... Um, actually, we'll play him as the attacking inside forward. And then leave Ali as the support one. And I guess Greaves will be back in a sec, so we can put him in there. Oh, injuries galore, boys and girls. Hopefully... We have a new job when we come back because, as I said, we'll be coming back either at the very end of the season for the knockout competition or uh, when we get a new job. And, and with that new, come on, with that new uh, 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 Continental Pro license, surely we're slightly more, what, what's the word I'm looking for, desirable to other teams? We are 23, though. I'm still worried that it's making a difference. I don't know how I've messed that up. Uh, yeah. Oh well. Let's keep applying for jobs though, and we'll tick off this episode right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to smash the like button if you have enjoyed it. Been way on top of the goal scorer race already. That's what it's things you love to see. Um, subscribe if you're new around here. If you haven't already, make sure you do. As well as liking this video if you have enjoyed it. I'll see you all later.